we have studied Paul's first and second missionary journeys. Here, the first missionary journey uh, took place uh, in 46 to 48. And second missionary journey was here in 50 to 52, which we already studied. Okay, we have studied it right here. Now, it's a time for third uh, missionary journey. Third, uh, <clears throat> third missionary journey started right here in 53 to 57. Okay. Now, at the end of the second missionary journey, right here, Paul arrived here in Antioch, which is his home church. So here, he stayed in Antioch and reported the church members and leaders the, what had happened uh, during the second missionary journey. Okay, now, and certainly Paul gave them a Roman Empire uh, mission vision. He told the uh, leaders in Antioch Church saying this, we have such an obligation to evangelize <clears throat> entire Roman Empire. In order to do that, <clears throat> it is very imperative. Imperative means important, crucial, uh, to raise up church leaders uh, as missionaries. I, I leadership training comes to the primary task in order to fulfill that great commission. That was a Paul's mind. Okay, It should be your mind and my mind all the time. Leadership training comes the most crucial uh, part to expand the great commission to entire Roman Empire. Okay, Paul had kept that mind all the time throughout the second missionary journey. Okay, and Holy Spirit inspired him. Okay, to to find the place where a mission center uh, can be built because of the fact that Antioch was the first mission center. Okay, out of that city. They sent out Paul and other uh, missionaries to this Roman Empire. But by the fact that Antioch located, it's far away from here in Rome, in terms of distance, it could not be mission center uh, because of the fact that uh, it's a distant a region it's a different region. This is in Asia and also is far away from the main continent, uh, which is the Roman Empire. Okay. The Holy Spirit during the time of the second missionary journey have kept on, uh, inspired Paul to find out the proper city for the future mission center. So in the beginning, during the time of his second visit, he thought the Corinth would be good mission center, Corinth. Because that's not far away from Rome, and it's a cosmopolitan city, and near the, you know, it's a center 
of a Greek, you know, nation and so on. Okay, but the Holy Spirit challenged them that Paul, this city would not be. You better find out other city. That city was Ephesus. Ephesus. So when during the second second missionary journey, he received that mission, that uh, command that you better not settled in Corinth, but you better go back to here Ephesus, and along with financial supporters, Priscilla and Aquila, okay, where. Paul met them here in Corinth, and Paul trained trained those two uh, pe- people the future mission vision. So they just uh, say, "Okay, Paul, let me join your mission." So from that time on, the Priscilla and Priscilla and Aquila became the primary mission supporters okay uh, in in Paul's mission so Paul took this couple okay to Ephesus on the way back to Antioch which is the end of the second missionary journey okay so here they arrived in Ephesus I'm talking about the second missionary journey, okay? Ephesus, and he, Paul told Priscilla and Aquila, you stay here and look for a good training school location and you purchase the property. I will come back. So they agreed. Then Paul here, Say goodbye to them and went back to Antioch. That was the end of the second missionary journey story, which I have told them, told you already. Are you with me? Okay, good. Now, Paul, upon the completion of the second missionary journey, he reported that vision to Antioch church leaders. And he said that, I cannot stay here long. I have to go back to here, Ephesus. Okay? So, Bible said that Paul stayed in Antioch very shortly. We imagine maybe a couple of months or maximum six months. Okay? Very shortly and took up for the third missionary journey, which is, we consider that AV. 53. So are you aware of that background information here? Okay. So what was Paul's mind to establish the mission center training school here in Ephesus? Okay. Ephesus right here. So that's the story right here. It's starting here. Acts chapter 13 verse 23 says so. Okay. And 21, 27, that's the end of the third missionary journey, which we will continue to study. Okay. Today, we will study on this part here, Acts 18, 23, which right here. Okay. Paul's main objective would be what? To establish Tyrannus school, school of Tyrannus. That's the name of the mission center and Bible study, Bible, Bible school. So we consider this Bible school is the first Bible school in Christian history. In, in the Christian history, the school of Tyrannus was the first Bible college, okay, recorded in the Bible. Here, 
uh, in what city? Ephesus. Acts 19.9 said that. Acts 19.9 says the name of school is School of Tyrannus. Tyrannus. Okay? Now, with that in his mind, Paul took off Antioch. Okay? Now, Luke, along with Luke and Timothy, those two uh, assistants were together with Paul. And Luke wrote this. We, we traveled throughout Galatia and Phrygia, which is right here, see, where he planted many churches in this area, Phrygia and Galatia. There was a Paul's uh, ministry, uh, ministerial type. His, his, his way of uh, doing ministry is that he always traveled back to where his disciples uh, located to give them strengthening and give them retraining. Okay? So he would not waste his time. He just traveled back to his disciples' churches on the way to Ephesus. So it was not, Ephesus was a, the final, you know, a, a terminal. However, in the way of traveling, in the process of the traveling, always visited, you know, his disciples' churches. That should be applied to your ministries as well. Okay? Now, so here, Paul traveled from Antioch accompanied with Timothy and Luke and others. Eh? On the way, Paul visited he, the churches in Galatia region, Galatian region, and Phrygia region, which I just uh, gave them in the map. The, mo- the purpose is, Paul wrote, it, uh, Luke wrote this, to strengthening all the disciples. That, that's the key. Strengthening. That is your job and my job. Always encouraging, motivating, strengthening to stand firm in the name of Jesus against any possible persecutions. Because they were in the midst of persecutions all the time. That's why they were really needed strengthening. Okay? Strengthening, right here, that term, strengthening. Acts 18, 23 recorded that. Now, finally, Paul arrived in Ephesus. He arrived in Ephesus. Okay? Of course, he was greeted by whom? Priscilla and Aquila. You see, in Acts chapter 18, when Paul met this couple, Luke recorded Aquila name comes the first. Aquila, Priscilla, which is very culturally normal, right? Because a man, husband's name should come first. So Aquila and Priscilla. Now, After they met Paul, in which Paul gave them a special Bible study, intensive Bible study. After the intensive Bible study, I'm talking about Acts chapter 18, came. All of a sudden, the lady, Priscilla, came up as a leader, okay, and husband. Just sat behind. So Luke observed that. And from that time on, Luke, in his writings, Priscilla's name comes the first. Okay? Throughout the Bible, always say Priscilla and Aquila. 
So Aquila came to the second position. Isn't it interesting? Okay, so I just write down here, Priscilla and Aquila, which is contrary to the, you know, uh, even uh, Jewish, uh, Jewish culture. Always husband name comes first. But here, Priscilla and Aquila, lady. Now, they reported Paul. Who are they? Priscilla and Aquila. Okay, Priscilla and Aquila reported Paul, their ministry in Ephesus. Okay, why Paul was absent. And he said that. First ministry they've done is this. Sir, Paul, we have, we taught, we have, we have a good Bible study, uh, together with Apollos. This Apollos is a very famous man. And Bible says that this Apollos is a well known Bible scholar. And, he is Egyptian man. Uh, his hometown uh, was Alexandria. <coughs> He's Egyptian. Alexandria, the city was very famous city uh, with the academic scholars are many in the city. Even today. Now, this Apollos, who Converted to Christianity, became a Christian, and later very well known Bible scholar in those days. Apollo was in Ephesus at the time and met Priscilla and Aquila, and Priscilla and Aquila uh, asked some questions to um, Apollos. Some of the biblical questions. And Apollos could not answer much. Particularly uh, the issue of the Holy Spirit. Okay, baptism of the Holy Spirit. Which Priscilla and Aquila have learned from Paul. Okay. Knowing the fact that Priscilla and Aquila invited Apollos and let us have a time together for Bible studies because I know you are very knowledgeable, but you, you, you are missing some point. So Apollo kneeled down and learned the new revelation of the Bible from whom? Priscilla and Aquila. That story was recorded there. So here, upon Paul's Come back to Ephesus. First report was about the Apollos. Sir, we have evangelized and recommitted Apollos. Now he is full of the Holy Spirit. In the, in the, in the previous time, he did not know much about the Holy Spirit. Only spirit he knew was baptism. Whose baptism? John the Baptist's baptism alone, that was the only knowledge that Apollo had. Now, he had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit out of us. They were so proud of that, reporting that. To whom? Reporting to Paul. Okay? That was the first report. And also, second report was this. Sir, as you, as you commanded us to find out the site of the future Bible school, we have found out that. Not only that, we purchased that house. So Paul was so happy hearing that. So purchased, they, they purchased that Bible college building. Okay, so Paul, okay, say, okay, let us have the Bible college. So here, Acts 19.9, Paul named the school, the school of Tyrannus. 
Okay? Then he sent out the messages to all his, uh, uh, you know, disciples, you know, churches. Would you pick up, select well-qualified students and send them to this city? We will teach them. Okay? That was the beginning of the first Bible college. Okay, established here in Ephesus, named the School of Tyrannos. That's the, my first message. I hope you understand this. Okay, so with that, we will further study next lesson, lesson number two. May God bless all of you. In Jesus' name, amen.